Hi, I'm Kai and today we want to have a look how we can place all the connections in one go which belongs for example to an M12 or M8 plug or a classic other application is that we have an analog input or output, for example a four wire input and we want to place all the four connections which belongs to one analog input with one PLC symbol. How this works in ePlan and what we typically need to add, for example, in our master data or in our parts management is part of this video. I explain everything step by step and it makes sense to watch the video until the end. So stay tuned. So what you can see here is one part of the multi-line um, macro with the first four ports. Um, this Balof IO link module has in total eight ports and each port exists out of a M12 plug. And we want to have later on one PLC symbol, which represents these five connections. And when we place it on our multi-line drawing, we want to have all these in one go. So what we need to have in the first step is we need a digital output and we need to create a macro for this. So we go to um, insert and connection point and insert a digital output. So this is not the right symbol. I can click backspace on my keyboard and select another one. Um, I want to use this one. And click OK. And I have placed this device already in my drawing. So I have all the information from the parts management here on my PLC navigator. This makes it a little bit easier for me because now I can assign the function to this macro. That means the first output is on pin four and I go here to pin four, right click and assign it and have now all the information is available here. I have the device tag, I have some digital output, I have the function definition right so that this is a digital output, I have the plug here and the connection point. So everything is fine. In the next step we want to have here um, pin one, three and maybe five. We don't place pin number two. This is something I want to do later because with five pins, the symbol is a little bit too small. And another point is that maybe you want to have the other digital output somewhere else and not on the same um, card here, but this solution is also no problem. So we add another PLC connection point. It doesn't matter what you use because we want to assign the function later. We click backspace again and for example, use this symbol here and place it, for example, here. So we don't add some information. We just go here to our PLC navigator, right click and assign the function here. And you can also see that I placed a digital output, but when we go to the simple function data, uh, sorry, it's a German, um, but you see that now the definition is in general PLC connection. Okay, so now we can duplicate this um, two times and we assign the other. So we want to have three yeah, the selected function has a different function group, that's right because I guess this is the, um, the minus and now we need here the FE so this is pin number five Okay, and now we have basically the digital output with the minus and here the first pin and the, the um, FE. The better way is when we have a macro project and do it in the macro project, but for this video I do it a little bit quick and dirty. So the next step is that we group this and therefore we go to, uh, we go to edit and group so that when we move it, everything is on the symbol. And then we make mark it, right click and create window macro symbol macro. So now for sure you need to select your macro here from this device. You need to check where it is and you need to have the representation type to multi-line. This is normally automatically set in ePlan when you create a macro from the multi-line page. And the problem now is that you have maybe already some variants of the macro available. So you see that variant A, variant B, variant C is port four to seven, variant D is the uh, power supply and variant E maybe is 
is free. I don't know. If you are not sure, you need to insert it one time or you need to check in the master data. Just to make sure, I use variant set and yeah, make a description that this is the IO connection and click OK. Because I have done already a video in my German channel, I need to um, replace this and click OK. So this is the macro. And when we want to have now the second port, so port number one, which goes to plug one. And here on our uh, PLC navigator, we see it also here with one. We can use it here and we have it on our cursor. It placed four connections, but as you can see here, this is from plug number uh, one, this is from plug number four, and this is from plug number zero. So it's totally wrong. I make this undo and there comes the next step. We need to change something in the parts management. So we go to our master data and management. And here we have a look for our part. It's the Balov um, BNI. So this one. And we go to the tab function template. And here you can see that you have um, the channel designation. I'm not sure if you really like channel designation on um, digital inputs and outputs. I normally don't use it for that, but uh, yeah, it's okay. But the more important thing is here the template group multi-line. Here you have the plug designation. So that means this is for all on plug zero. This is all on plug one. And you have the connections here, <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five. And in the template group, we need to add now some information that the connection point designation on one plug are together. So basically, we can also write here, for example, 0, 0, 0, 0, and 0, and here 1, 1, 1, and so on. So that means we can also copy here from the channel everything and add it. You just need to insert here the same characters on one plug which you want to place in one go and then step by step for each plug. So we click apply and close. And when we go now here to our port number one and place it, you see that everything belongs to the plug number one. So what's about the last, the pin number two, the second output? So because in my opinion, it makes no sense to have five connections on one of these PLC symbols. It's quite easy. Uh, we just add another digital output. We change with backspace again, the symbol, go to, for example, uh, this one, place it maybe next to the other one. And now we assign pin number two Because now when you have, for example, some, some valves or something, or to have two conductors, you can use one here on this digital output, and maybe you later on want to shift this to somewhere else. This makes more sense. And to add this, now we need for sure override our macro. So right click and create macro. We go again to variant set and click OK and yes. And now we go here, for example, to port number three and place it. And you see now that you have two digital outputs here. So if you have further questions about this topic, please write a comment. Don't forget to like my video. Don't forget to subscribe, activate the notification. I recommend you this video and I hope to see you next time. Bye.